Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today what I want to do is I want to touch back on a video that I did almost a year ago, maybe-ish. And that is about this switch right here. Now this switch has a GFI made into it. Now I did a video and I had a pile of questions and, you know, very excellent questions. Stuff I maybe briefed on, very small, but today we're really going to hit the switch hard. We're going to talk about more things that you can do with it to make it safer or make it work in your favor. Now, one of the questions that I had was, since there's a switch on the top, can I not just put this wire into the hot, right? Instead of making a bunch of joints in there and putting a whole lot of wire nets in the box, kind of simplify it. So I'll, I'm, I'm gonna tell you first what I'm talking about, then I'm gonna show you. So we're gonna go in that order. So what we're gonna do is, it does not matter on this switch. This is your switch. It says it right on the back, switch output. It does not matter which side you put into the hot. It does not matter. But you always, on any kind of device that you get, always need to make sure that that is the case. On this one, it does not matter. So if you wanna put this one on the hot, so be it, and have this one for your switch leg. Or if you wanna have this one for the hot, this one on the switch leg, these do not matter, all right? It, at all, zero, does not matter. Now, you can make a pigtail on these, put a hot here, and then put a hot here, so you'll have basically two separate hots, but it'll be the same hot in the box. We're gonna go over all this in a second, I'm just giving you a heads up, all right? Or you can put this into the load side, put your hot into the line side, when you turn the switch on and off, it works perfect. When you hit the reset button for the GFI or if it trips out, it'll turn your light off. Some people really want that for their bathrooms, completely understand. Uh, if you have a light over the shower, some people do, I do. Uh, if you have that and you wanna make sure it's protected with GFI protection, you can use it for that. You can use it for your fart fan or AKA exhaust fan, or I should say exhaust fan, AKA fart fan. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to wire this thing and uh, we're going to talk about the protection of it. You know, it's GFI protected, so we're going to talk a lot about it and, well, not a whole lot, but we're going to talk about how to wire it. Now, I will say, once I move it back here and you see this box, you're going to say, oh my gosh, Mountaineer Outdoors, you have Wagos. You're right, I do. Only for video purposes. I'm going to touch very lightly on this Wago again. Today is January 19th, 2023. I hate Wagos. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you and tell you the simple truth, they suck. They're perfect for certain things. I'm gonna do one more video on Wagos, probably sometime in February, March. Talk just a little bit about it, about my opinions and where they are good because I have had about a year experience now since I did my first Wago video and I have some updated, but we're not talking about Wagos. But you are gonna see some here, so don't be like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, he's using Wagos and he talks bad about him. Yeah, yeah, I do talk bad about him because they suck. But anyway, so what we're gonna do is I've got a mock situation right here, kind of the same thing I had before. And we have our power coming in on the bottom and our light switch legs coming in on the top. Now, you know, you would put this in in case, uh, you know, like let's say you're in your bathroom, for instance, and a lot of older bathrooms do not have a receptacle anywhere. Mine didn't, so I had to add one. I didn't add one of these because obviously I can wire the way I need to, but not saying you guys can't, but this is an awesome option if you have a neutral in your switch box, but without a neutral, it will not work at all. So plain and simply, it will not work without a neutral. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you over to this. I'm gonna bring the camera real close. I'm gonna show you exactly what terminals to use on here. Everything is labeled on the back. Let's, let's start right there. So everything is labeled on the back. So I've told you before in my GFI videos, if you don't know how to wire GFI at all, look up here in the corner. Um, right, right there. And you should see the video of how to wire GFI. Now that video is old. Maybe I should do an updated video, but it's really the same for all GFIs. But if you look on the back of these, they say line, load, and this one has these two wires on here and they say output. So don't get confused when you see the output, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, what, what do you do, what do you do, what do you do? You just wire it like I'm telling you, because I'm telling you it will work. I'm gonna walk you through it here, and then I'm gonna show you in real life, all right? So what we'll do, we're gonna do it the way I did it first. So 
Basically, how this works is your hot goes into here, your neutral goes in here. So if you don't understand that, your big side is always your neutral, your little side is always your hot, always. All right, that's just the way it is. Uh, hot is always on your brass, white always goes to your neutral, unless somebody has done some switching. But for you guys to know, always use a tick tracer, always use a meter, make sure you turn your power off. I, sh I should go without saying, but anyway. So let me show you guys how to figure out uh, hot neutral on the switch. So first of all, if you look at this receptacle, the big side is always the neutral. The small side is always the hot every time. There's no, there's no switching that. All right. There's none. So if you look here, right, the hot is the brass. The big side is the white neutral brass hot. So we know that. And if you don't know that it says right on the back hot, and it shows you white, it shows you the arrows where they go. Now, for this setup right here, if we were only gonna do it like I did, like in the first video, I would put the hot on the hot, the black on the hot, and I would put the two whites under here. And then in the wire nut, I would put this wire here, or this wire, it doesn't matter, remember I mentioned that at the beginning of this video, on here, and then this one will go to the other black going up to the light. I'm gonna bring you close, you guys will see how that works and all. It has a strip gauge, right on the back, so you guys would know how far to put the wire in here and how far to strip it out. Now, I've done this enough to know, you know, how far and how much I want. So let me bring you close and we're gonna start right here and I'm gonna show you a different way also how to hook this up so it's less wires and wire nuts in your box. Now, if you don't feel comfortable with this process right here, what I'm gonna show you, please, please turn your power off. When I mean power off, I mean turn the daggum main breaker off. Now, we're gonna use one of these. We're gonna make sure that it works. All right, the light is on. And we're gonna find our hot. Now we know that normally the hot is the black. So we're gonna see if this one's hot and it's not. We'll double check the white just to make sure, nothing. We'll check this black. All right, we know that this is our hot coming in and that's our neutral. And how do we know this neutral? Because they're gonna be in the same sheath of Romex. So we can pull it and we can see that these two are our hot. Now I'm only doing this because hot right now just to show you guys you need to verify what's your hot because that is important when we're doing the switch so we know that this is a hot this is the neutral this is the ground all right let's let's go turn the power off and start all right once again we want to come back we want to double check make sure all the power is off we know that our tick tracer is working always double check this on a live circuit that you know is working so you know that this thing is correct all right, so we know that this is our hot and this is our neutral, 100%. This is our switch leg, and this is our neutral for here. So this black wire and this white wire go right to this light right above here. And of course, I need to put you a little bit more in frame. So these two wires go up here, all right? Like I said, there's way goes in here, so don't, don't judge me. So anyway, the grounds are together, hot and neutral. So we know that this one's our hot, so we're gonna do it several different ways first. So we'll always start with the neutral, or sorry, we always start with the ground. We'll put it on. All right, so what we'll do next, we know that we always go ground, neutral, and then hot. And we know that this is silver and this says white. So we'll put this white in from our home run coming back from our panel, our hot one. And then we'll put this neutral, which goes up to the light. We'll also put it right into the neutral and we will tighten it up all right now what we're left with is the hot and we need to go to the line side of the hot which is right here so we can do one of two things here we can put these two together and then run one wire down to here which we don't really want to do that so what we're going to do is we're going to put this right into here actually we'll put it on this side so it goes right into the hot all right, and we will put this wire right into the other hole. Now, stranded wire is kind of, you know, what's stranded wire? All right, and then what we're left with is the wire. This black one goes up to this light, and this is the other side of this switch. So these two wires will just go together. Now, please forgive me as I use Owego because it's easier for me to detach this and keep on rolling with this video. 
Otherwise, I would never do this in real life. All right, so you see how this goes? This is our home run coming in, goes right to the line. This hot just plugs right into the hot right here. All right, let's flip it around and show you the neutral. We took the whites from the line side and we put them together. Now that's not in there all the way, so we need to fix that. You need to be very, very diligent about doing your wires where they're all the way in there because you do not want anything loose ever, especially not on electrical. All right, so both of our neutrals, the one going up to the light is in here and the one coming from home. The other side, the only wires you have left was the switch, the black one, and the black switch part. So don't ever do what I'm gonna do in real life. Always do it safely. In other words, don't have this hanging out like this. Don't turn your power on without it being safe. Now I'm doing this so you guys can see because this is the only way you guys can see. All right, so what we'll do is we'll turn the power back on real quick. All right, power is on. All right, so the switch means, so the switch is on. All right, so what we have here is we have the GFI that is tripped. We'll put it in there and we'll make sure that the light works and it does. All right. Boom, 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 all right? We want the GFI to trip. We just, we'll test it here, all right? And it's not working now. And we just test it like that, all right? And the light stays on no matter what, whether the GFI is tripped or not. Now, let's say that you want this light to be GFI protected, okay? So what we're gonna do is we know that this circuit is hot. So I'm gonna go turn the power off. When the light goes off, this should be dead, but we'll check it again with our tick tracer just to make sure because we always wanna be safe. Safety first, guys. It only takes a second just to make sure. All right, let's see. We know that my meter's on. All right, it's all dead. So what we got to do to fix this so it, this light is actually GFI protected, come in a little closer and I'll show you. So we're going to dismantle this. All right, I'm going to dismantle all of it. We're going to start over from fresh because I think that's the most important way to do this so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. I put that one on there good, didn't I? All right, so we do know once again that this right here is our hot. This is our neutral. So these, this, these two are the ones we're gonna be working with hot and neutral. All right, this is the hot for the light and this is the neutral for the light. Now, to make this light be protected by GFI circuit, all right, what we're gonna do is remember from that video, line brings in, so line, from, line is coming from your panel, so your hot, always the one that is your hot, is your line. So line brings in, it goes to the line side of your GFI. So what we gotta do is we're gonna take, we already did our ground, we're gonna take our neutral, and we're gonna stick it in the white, all right? And we're going to, on the line side, so the main coming in, the one coming in from the panel goes to the line side. We'll take the hot, we know at a known hot, that we know this 100% is hot, we need to put it into the line side, just like that. And we will crank it down. Now what, what we're left with, the hot is done. Now we need to worry about the protected part of the GFI. So we know that line brings in and the load takes out to the whatever you're using. So whether it be a light or another receptacle or whatever, we know that the load is what is gonna be doing the work, like the light, another receptacle, so on and so forth. I know I sound repetitive, but I want you to understand that. So this is, we're gonna, I'll tell you what, since we did it the other way before, just so you can see that I'm telling you the truth and it doesn't matter, we'll take this, we'll put this one on the hot disk go around so we know that this one will go into the gold screw like that because it's hot. So we'll put it in there. Take the neutral from the light and we'll stick it in the neutral side of this load side of the GFI. All right, we'll make sure it's good and tight. And what we're left with guys is basically the same setup we have the light black, which is going up to the light, and then our switched hot going to the light. So we'll take Wagos again, I know, I shouldn't say. 
these things are junk and then use them right. But anyway, we'll take these and we'll stick them in. All right, now when we turn this back on, I don't know if the light will come back on, but regardless, it'll be GFI protected. So let's move the camera back and try it again. All right, and it didn't come back on, so that's good. Or is it? All right, so we know that it's not tripped, so we'll turn the light on, see what happens. All right, so the, that means this receptacle is not tripped and it's ready to go. So what we'll do is we'll trip this receptacle and we'll see if indeed that goes out. And it does. So this light now is completely dead. It'll save you from a shock, hopefully, right? Knock on wood. If you know, if it comes in contact with water or whatever, you know, so you don't get shocked while you're changing your bulb or what have you, or if there's moisture in your fixture or what have you. So we do know now that when that light is on, that means that it is tripped. So we will reset it. All right, and we can, we can switch all we want. And we have a GFI and a protected light downstream. So it's that easy. And it's, I know it looks complicated, but if you take it step by step, you won't have to worry about it. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Now, I did use a screwdriver in my video, and I really, really like the screwdriver. Guys, I'm telling you, awesome piece of equipment here. Uh, just so you know, it has Phillips on one side, you pull it out, put it back in the other side, boom, now you got a flat. Wow, huh? Pretty cool. But it really is good. It's a really, really great screwdriver. So I'll leave a link down below. If you do, please make sure you use my link. All the proceeds always go straight back to this channel so I can keep doing these videos. I hope this has really helped you. This switch is really an awesome switch, especially, well, not especially, only if you have a neutral in your box. So if you don't have a neutral, you're not gonna be able to use it. But I'm telling you, if you don't have a receptacle beside your light and you have, you know, a neutral and a hot, well, you're, it's, it's game on. You can easily put that in there, boom, you've got what you need. Now, I hope that answered everybody's question. Uh, I think that that's pretty in depth. And just remember, line always comes in, load always goes out. So if you remember that, everything else is just the walk in the park. All right, let me tell you, if you wanna make sure that you see what happens next, make sure you hit that thumbs up, hit the all bell notification so all my uploads you guys will get. Definitely leave me a thumbs up though, that's pretty important. All right, if you wanna see what happens next, make sure you like and subscribe, God bless, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.